Hey, news just coming in. Could this be the end of the VVIP chopper scam or the Augusta Westland case as it is also known? A court of appeals in Milan in Italy has acquitted the main accused saying there is no evidence against them. Uh, Sunitra Chaudhary joining us at this point. Sunitra, what are the details? Well, what we've heard that is in December 2016, the Italian court had ordered a reinvestigation because they said that the evidence had all been read wrong. Now, today, the, trial, the appeals court in Milan has given its verdict and they've said that Giuseppe Orsi, who was the head of Augusta Westen and Spagnolini, the two main accused who had even gone to jail, both of them have been acquitted because the court said that there is absolutely no evidence. Now, what this means is they're saying there is no evidence of any bribe being paid to any Indian officials. Uh, as we know, the CBI had charge sheeted the two Indian officials. They charge sheeted the former air chief, S.P. Tyagi, as saying that he was a beneficiary of this deal of the 12 Augusta choppers, the VBIP choppers that had taken place between 2007 and 2010. And so CBI had built up its entire case on the fact that at that time, Augusta officials, this through middlemen, Christian Michel and others, they passed on this case that there are, that they have paid uh, various bribes. But the court's order today says that no bribes have been paid at all. And so this comes as a bit of a setback to the entire CBI case because if the Italians have not found any evidence of bribe giving, they've in fact acquitted these officials of Augusta Westland saying there's no evidence at all of any bribes being given. That means that the entire basis of the CBI's case seems to be wrong. Remember, this is happening at a time when the enforcement directorate was about to look at how to extradite Christian Michel, one of those middlemen who was supposedly the person through which, uh, who had come into India to pay off officials. Now, remember, this had also become very, very politically sensitive because in some of the papers that were found at that time, they found the letters AP as two payoffs, which some people at that time, the opposition had also wanted to debate, saying who is AP? Could it be the person very closely associated to then UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi? Because it was the UPA which had done this deal. And so this had become very politically sensitive as well because of Congress connections and because of this AP uh, coming out in the evidence papers. But now the court has held that there is no evidence in it and so the case has completely collapsed. Now we have to wait and see how the CBI reacts to this. All right, uh, Sunetra, thanks very much indeed for joining us with those details.